इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ मीयर द थॉट ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन मेक्स अस नर्वस वी स्टार्ट गेटिंग गूस बम्स और बटरफ्लाइज वाई डज इट हैपन वाई दिस इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और इन वट वे शुड आई गो इफ समबडी आस्क मी टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम कवलजीत कौर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑल द आस्पेक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन अंडर टू सर्कमस्टांसिस वी आर सपोज टू इंट्रोड्यूस अर सेल्फ वन इज इनफॉर्मल सेटिंग लाइक यू गो एंड टू अटेंड सम पार्टी वेर यू आर सपोज टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ विद द फ्रेंड्स ऑफ द फ्रेंड्स एंड अदर इज अ फॉर्मल काइंड ऑफ सेटिंग वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू अपीयर फॉर सम जॉब इंटरव्यू एंड देन एट दैट वेरी मोमेंट वी आर आस्ड टू इंट्रोड्यूस अर सेल्फ नॉ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच अर आइज इज इज वाई डू वी गेट नर्वस वाई डू वी स्टार्ट फीलिंग दोज बटरफ्लाइज एंड हैविंग गूज बम्स वाई इट हैपन सो द रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज अंडर बोथ द सेटिंग्स वेदर इट इज अ फॉर्मल और इट इज एन इनफॉर्मल काइंड ऑफ सेटिंग इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द केसेज वी आर सपोज टू इंट्रोड्यूस अर सेल्फ इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ओनली एंड यू नो फॉर सम टू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ डिस्कशन और टू टॉक इन इंग्लिश इज अ काइंड ऑफ नाइट मेयर फॉर दैम रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल इंग्लिश इज नॉट अवर फर्स्ट लैंग्वेज and everything used to happen in our regional language only we converse with each other with our family members with the friends at work or at home in majority of the time in regional language only so whenever we are supposed to talk in english for majority of the people it becomes a difficult task for them it becomes a sort of performance for them another reason is that we don't rehearse much asi zyada us di practice nahi karde ha now the another important question is what is the necessity to give my introduction in both the settings whether we consider the informal kind of setting or the formal kind of setting let's take the example of a uh, formal kind of setting first formal kind of setting is i'm like seeking some job and uh, i have to face the interview panel over there Now the question is why it is an edit? Why I need to introduce myself? Is the bina ni chal sakda, my dear friends? If you are going to appear for the job interview, means it means somebody is going to offer you a job, and he is going to pay for it. And mere an interview of ten or fifteen minutes or having a discussion with you for ten or fifteen minutes. the person on the other side can't have the exact idea about your personality what is your strength or weakness what kind of person you are and what are you up to like if you fall under certain circumstances in what way you are going to perform so that way it becomes very important for that person to know about you and this is the only way out he would simply ask you that please introduce yourself so those 5 minutes which you consume to describe about yourself is a golden moment for you it is a moment to showcase your all the hidden potentials you are not expected to give any performance but with your own words and in what way you tell the person on the other side that what kind of person you are it becomes easier for the person to take some decision whether you are fit for that job or you are not at all suitable for that position you can utilize those 5 minutes to turn the table in your favor and convince the employer to hire you up to 50% of the decision is taken at that very moment when you describe about yourself now the next important thing is that in what way you should go on in what way you are to give your description that is important thing what are the components you should include while you describe about yourself always begin with your name my name is never say myself people do make these kinds of blunders never say myself always say my name is so and so once you are done with your name and you suppose if you are appearing for the interview 
at some other place which is far off from your own locality your area or your city then do mention that i hail from this place because it becomes very important in that very case that you belong to this part of the state or the country then in series comes your credentials because that is utmost important where you are to describe it beautifully but in a very proper way appropriate way that you did your masters or you did your graduation in this year suppose you are not a fresher so you did you completed your degree in this year and after that you did some internship or some training program if suppose your job is skill based and it is the requirement of the job profile as well you can also mention your achievements your accolades uh, some distinctions you made uh you achieved during your uh, college days or university days or school days whatever you find suitable uh for you in your case if you are not a fresher then employer would definitely want to know what did you do in those two years three years or one year you might have definitely done some job so that way you might be having some experience do mention that in many cases uh, the interview is done with it but in certain cases and you can get these hints from the non verbal cues of the person on the other side of the table to anu khud hi pata chal jayega whether you are to stop over here or you should continue uh, with this kind of introduction but keep one thing in your mind never elaborate too much uh when you are describing about yourself and there is no need to mention about your siblings and what your father is doing or your mother is doing this is all unnecessary stuff what extra or what else you can add uh, after telling about your credentials is your strength and your weakness what do you like in life where do you want to reach and what are your aspirations you can further add what are your hobbies what do you do in your leisure time but please be very authentic with it don't unnecessarily go on pulling up with this kind of stuff that may put you in trouble as well if you have some very authentic kind of thing with you like if you, if you are talking about your interests your hobbies then describe it in a, in the minimum words in the bare minimum words until or unless you are doing something exceptionally or, or extraordinarily good at your end only, only then you elaborate it to that extent otherwise it is not at all needed for example if i simply love listening music then listening music i don't think it is my hobby hobbies which you do something uh at your own and you enjoy that as well listening music is i don't think it's a hobby but anyhow you are to decide it uh, at your end that in what way you are to go but i can simply mention over here that be very precise here i would like to add something more that always pen down all these steps on your notebook whether phone or mobile phone or or some diary and uh, jot down all these points in a sequence like first of all you are to tell about your name after you are done with your name then you are to tell about your place uh, the place uh, which you belong to after that in number 3 you are to tell about your credentials at number 4 then you can uh, describe about your achievements accolades whatever ex- extraordinarily thing you did and you achieved something in your that span of life after that you can add your work experience once you are done with it then next in the series you can talk about your hobbies as well once you are done with your hobbies then you can uh, at the end tell about your strength and weakness but it is not important this last point is not important because in many interviews this question is put up uh, by the interview uh, at the by the time the interview is uh, uh, about to be wrapped up in number of interviews uh, before they wrap up with uh, this interview they used to ask that uh, tell about your strength or your weakness this is something which is very important and uh, be taken care of 
ਇਹਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਪੈਨ ਡਾਊਨ ਕਰ ਲਓ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਾਪੀ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਲਾਈਕ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਫਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਦੇਰ ਤੱਕ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਥੈਟ ਪੋਟੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਨਿਊ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਸ਼ੌਂਕ ਪੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਸ਼ੌਂਕ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਵੀਆਂ ਨਵੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਕੋ ਜਾਂ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜੌਬ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਾਈਲ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਵਿਚ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ نو ਬਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਅਪਨ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੌਕਾ ਮਿਲੇਗਾ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਟਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਯੂਰ ਐਕਸਪੈਕਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਲਰਨ ਥੈਟ ਸੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖਣ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਚ ਸ਼ੌਂਕ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਦੇਖੋ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਹੋਰ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅਰਲੀ ਆਵਰਸ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੇਟ ਆਵਰਸ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਜੌਬ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਾਈਲ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹਾ ਹੁਨਰ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਨ ਟੋਟੈਲਿਟੀ ਜੋ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜੌਬ ਪਲੇਸ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਲਈ ਕੋਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟਿਵ ਰੋਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਪਲੇ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਐਂਡ ਡੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਯੂਰ ਵੀਕਨੈਸ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਹਰ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਕਮੀ ਵੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਅਗਰ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੋਏ ਕਿ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ एवरीबॉडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट डिजिटल इंडिया एंड एवरीथिंग इज गेटिंग डिजिटाइज्ड बट इन स्पाइट ऑफ इट दो आई यूज स्मार्टफोन एज वेल एंड आई हैव सम नॉलेज अबाउट द यूजेस ऑफ दिस ਲੈਪਟਾਪ ਐਟਸੈਟਰਾ ਬਟ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਦਾ ਜੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਂਦਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਥੈਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਵੇ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਂਦੀ ਬਟ ਯੈਸ ਐਡ ਅਪ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਪਏਗੀ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖ ਲਵਾਂਗੀ ਔਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਲਵਾਂਗਾ ਇਵਨ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਲਿਮਿਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਥਿਸ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਜ਼ ਜੈਨੂਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਜ਼ ਫੇਅਰ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਹੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਐਮਪਲੋਇਰ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਤਲਾਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ now let's talk about informal kind of setting where suppose you are going to attend some party uh, and you are invited by your friend and in the party you are meeting to the friends of your friend at the maximum what your friend would do like oh to anu apne kuch dostana introduce kara dega by simply saying meet this person he is my friend or simply we are childhood friends or we did schooling uh, together or we were together in the college at the maximum after that now the ball is in your court kyunki agar tusi apni introduction nahi ditti ho sakta hai because it all depends upon the kind of setting you are in ho sakta hai kuch bhi zarurat nahi hoye but kai vari some uh, as tarah diyan settings hundiyan ne jithe agar tusi nahi bole oh tade bare ch tada friend hi bol gaya ta fir oh sara show jo hai tada friend hi steal kar lega so be precise and concise while you are giving your introduction in those 5 minutes you can create magic possibilities that you succeed in turning the table in your favor be it in the informal or in the formal setting